Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. Been a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year. It might be a little bit late to say Happy New Year. Well, not here. We we <laughs> haven't. Well, Chinese New Year hasn't arrived yet. So. Yeah. So it's, still, it's, it's the still time. Good. It's still good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. New year, new stuff, guys. We're so happy to be here. Well, of course, we bring you guys a whole bunch of new features in today's live stream. Yeah, we have a lot of new features, uh, new plans for, sure, the, for, sure. for this year. Mm -hmm. So a lot to share today. Um, but we will wait for a little while because people are still coming in, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but first of all, thank you so much for getting into our live stream. Mm -hmm. We've we miss you guys so much. Yeah, yeah. been a while. I remember the last time we got a live stream, maybe it's a half year ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so hello really been from a while. Sofia and Tipoli. Where is it? Sorry, we, we are ignorant. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> what What was that? Uh, Said say, will greet us from Sofia and Tipoli. I don't, I don't know. know. Wow. I, don't know. I guess we have a lot to learn. Yeah. Beside PBX. Yeah, so, um, well, once again, this is our brand new live stream. Yeah, we're gonna uh, wait for a while. Yeah, hello, Bevan, hello, hello. Hey guys, how's everything going? Yeah, how do you like, how do you guys like 2024 so far? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Hi there from South Africa, Halo Razor. Oh, in from Sophia Antipoli. Well, that's a beautiful name. Yeah. Sophia Antipoli. Hello from you. Hello from Spain. Hello from Philippines. Outwing. Hello. Hey. Hello, guys. Hello from Singapore. Wow. That's why we missed this. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. From all over the world. Sure. Yeah. Malawi. Hello from Malawi. Hi. Hi, Chrismo. Chismo. Chisomo. Sorry. Sorry about that. Hi. Hi, Joe. Hello, everybody. Uh, well, we got beside us, we also have our colleague. I guess Horace is already in the chat. So yeah. if you guys have any question, feel free to let us know yeah. as you yeah. roll. Yeah. <coughs> and we promise to bring you Horace next time, next live stream. Mm -hmm. He, he was in the live stream for La a couple of times. One. Last one, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know people, some people, some, some guys really miss him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe I can skip one. What do you mean you can skip one, one? One, one live stream? Maybe next time you and Horace do it. Sure. Huh? Sure. Will that be good? Yeah. <clears throat> Great. So I guess, yeah, it's three minutes. I guess we can start. Yeah. Okay. Sure thing. Good. Let's get okay. into it. Okay, let's start our kickoff officially, right? Yeah. As you can, you guys can see from the title, Contact Center Kickoff. Mm -hmm. We are serious about Contact Center solution. Yeah. yeah. We got a big plan in 2024 on yeah. the Contact Center. Yeah. I guess this is also a new direction for what we're going to do in the future. Yeah, because it's mm -hmm. getting more and more important. Sure. And more, more and more opportunities mm -hmm. have been found in the market yeah. for the Contact Center. So we're going for it. We're going to provide you the right equipment, right solution for it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So well, from <coughs> well, we're going to talk about the new features we have added in this new upgrade and you guys will see that we are serious about contact center yeah yeah talking about upgrades guys so this time on the new firmware we have a couple of important updates for both of your i guess digital <laughs> channel and mm -hmm. also voice channel uh, yeah. for sure we also bring you guys some other features yeah so generally speaking it's a quite important update mm -hmm. on the pc system this time yeah. so you guys really need to upgrade your system if you didn't try it out yeah well we've been playing with this upgrade for for quite some time sure, already sure yeah. sure okay so let's get in yep once again, guys, thank you guys. Thank you guys from all over the world, from UK, from yeah. South Africa, from Kenya, from Pakistan, from Dubai. Hello, guys. From mm -hmm. Turkey. Great. From it's everywhere. Great have, from everywhere. Yeah. It's great to have you guys here. Sure. Um, well, this is a good start for 2024, right? Yeah. So exactly. let's get, let, let's dig in. Okay. Sure. Uh, so yeah, the contact center, right? What's the first feature that we're going to 
be talking about? You guys know that talking about the contact center, mm -hmm. one important thing on the pay service system is going to be the integration with omni-channels. Right? Omni-channel messaging. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, it's already been <clears throat> added in our last upgrade, right? Sure, so this is actually not a new feature. You mm -hmm. guys can already try the integration with your ISP uh, yeah. for the SMS channel. Already. Or you can also try the integration with WhatsApp business platform mm -hmm. uh, for the social media platform. Yeah. Uh, I guess what we have currently, it's a good solution, but not good enough. Not a complete solution. Exactly. Once again, if we are serious about our contact center, then there are way more features to add. Sure, sure, exactly. And this exactly. time, we have given you one very important feature. Yeah. Which is mm -hmm. message, message queue. queue. Yeah. yeah. Think about this, guys. Now, without this new firmware, when you try to handle your messages from your Previous. clients, yeah. you're gonna pick maybe one of your agents yeah. particularly to handle all these messages that will be really complicated yeah you will have to assign one specific extension or sure. agent to the whole channel mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but if we are really managing a real connect center but well, one people is not enough we yeah. have to have a department or exactly. a team exactly. behind the channel sure. so they can work with each other yeah. right yeah and most important thing is if we are really handling a you know omnichannel connect center then we are going to receive a lot of messages yeah. at the same time. That means people will will have to wait sure. in line. Sure. I so, mean, customers they have different requirements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably they're looking for support. Probably they're just looking for some general inquiry anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we shall have different queues. Yeah. And we also need to let these customers to wait in the line. Yeah. It might so, be quite busy, so we need some sort of solution to handle this. Yeah. So that's two most important part for the message queue. Yeah. First of all, the people getting in with messages mm -hmm. and they can wait in line. Sure. Right? And the second one is we can assign a group of agents instead of one specific extension to one channel. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go with the... Yeah, why don't we just look? take a look? Guys, yeah. check out my screen. I'm yeah. gonna post my screen on it. Okay. You guys can see this. Uh, I'm in my web client, by yeah. the way, and uh, you guys can see this is a new solution, which is going to be external chat. And over here in the list, you can see I have new messages. This is a new notification. And I, will, I right? will send you one more new Yeah, please message. do it. Please do it, guys. Yeah. Uh, I get a couple of options. I mean, a couple I of messages from different customers. So, yeah. yeah, I guess that's the message you sent before, yeah, right? from WhatsApp. Okay, so when I pick it, Guys, take a look. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to handle the message directly. It yeah. won't work because yeah. I'm just one member in this message queue. Yeah, he is one. Jason is now working with one agent. Exactly. So first of all, as you guys can see, there are three messages waiting. Sure. The messages are waiting. From different in, channels. From of different course. channels. Uh, Jason is waiting in line. Yeah. And he can just pick one. Sure. To pick it up. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna handle the first one, the first channel uh, yeah. sent by Ramon now. And if I want to handle it, I will need to click on pick up. Pick well, up for my colleagues, position. they will be able to see this message has been handled by Jason. Yeah, it's right over here. Yeah. So now I can send feedbacks to him. To me. Like this. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? I can just send the feedback to Ramon right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was happening? Or right, I'm not gonna be able to send uh, you, you back. You, you are not on, Sure, yeah. I'm not authorized right now. But anyway, this is a, just yeah. how we're gonna handle the message in yeah. this queue. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once we pick it up, we can also do something else. Uh, okay. For example, like, uh, this is actually a good example. If so I'm not gonna be able to handle the message, I yeah. guess I can transfer it, yeah. right? I can choose to transfer this message to my colleagues, maybe someone else. They're going to be able to handle the message. So we're going to make sure this message will eventually be handled by one of our members in this queue. It's probably because your computer sure. is now currently not on VPN. Uh, this probably. Is WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You we got it. VPN in China. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. But anyway, we do have the solution. Mm -hmm. I think this is a perfect example to yeah. show you guys how it works, right? Yeah. And uh, after all this, if you're going to check all the details, like um, um, you know, all of your messages handled by someone else, you can also see here we have recent. We have well, all. This is, well, this is the features we have sure. in the previous version. Exactly. Actually. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And of course. Where there are other messages waiting in line. Sure. And we can see that, right? Yeah. So if uh, other people, other agent pick up one session mm -hmm. and we will be able to realize it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 
You can see now where we're okay. Yeah, see, somebody just yeah. took the see, message. One session has yeah. been taken by yeah. other agent. Sure, it has been disappeared. It, Boom. It, it, yeah, it disappears. Yeah. Why? Because one of our colleagues took this session. Exactly. And now it's her session. Exactly. Yeah, it's her session, not ours. So this is a perfect mm -hmm. example of how we collaborate collaborate with each other, right? Yeah. So there are a group of agents behind it, and people can pick up their agent their messages, sure. can transfer their messages, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is how it works. Message queue. Now we can have now we have a foundation where we can build up a real contact center yeah. with omni channel messages. Sure. Right? Sure. And uh, this is actually just the first important update yeah. on your digital channel. Yeah. But that's not all we have. We yeah. also have another important update. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is also something you guys are very curious about, which is going to be the chat lock. Yeah, because, well, it's one thing that we have message queue, yeah. where we can collaborate with each other, where we have mechanism to, you know, for the people to wait in line. Mm -hmm. But the, another important thing for you to manage a contact center is to have locks. Yeah. Right. So the manager will be able to see all the chat histories and everything. Yeah. Yeah. As you guys can see on my screen now. Yeah. This is the new chat lock. So okay. all of your external chat locks will be posted here. Well, I, obviously, I just canceled this con uh, condition, so we will be able to see all this. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're going to check the details for all these chat locks, mm -hmm. anyway, you can, you, you're going to have two options. Option one, you can click on session timeline. Mm -hmm. So the timeline will just show you the entire process, mm -hmm. like uh, since when, which extension exactly just picked up the message, yeah. and the whole process will be posted mm -hmm. here like this. And the second option you guys can have there, it's going to be the chat history. Chat history, yes. Like this. All right, so all the chat histories, all the record will be posted in this line yeah. right over here. Yeah. yeah uh, besides, you guys can also download this chat log easily. Yeah. Switch it back here. You can see on the top side, we have download. Yeah. Uh, I think when you click on download, something really interesting is we're going to help you to generate two files all together. Two files, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the first, first one, one yeah. let me just show you. Yeah. All right. The first one will just be this, chat data. Chat history. Yeah. Chat history. Exactly. Yeah. And the second one will be the session operation lock. Sure, right? sure. So you can see what operation has been done. Ooh. What operation has yeah. been done. Uh, who picked up this session, sure. who transferred this session, when was this session closed, everything will be recorded Exactly. Here. Okay. They are all download you you can download them and uh, well, with csv files sure right? okay all right let's switch it back so yeah, that was back. all for the first important update on the digital channel yeah yeah, yeah. uh well another important update we're going to have this time is going to be some important uh, optimizations for the voice channel yeah but before we actually getting into the voice channel part mm -hmm. uh we have well a vote Sure. We have a vote for sure, you guys. Sure, sure. Because well, we have we told you that we are really serious about Connect Center solution, right? So yeah. we are already looking into the future features yeah. that we can add. Um, well, of course, we are surely going to add more platforms. We understand that. Yeah. And uh, well, we know that we will be adding uh, Facebook. Yeah. In the next uh, well, the next big upgrade. Yeah. Right. That's right. We will be adding. Uh, like live chat. Yeah. On the, uh, on our future. That's going to be another important update. For yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. But besides those <laughs> sure things, what other features do you like? Just let us know. Okay. Just let us know. Yeah. Well, that's actually a multiple choice, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have bulk message messaging, live chat, more channels options, and yeah. inclusion. Are of we AI. posting it? It's already on there. Sure. Yeah. So guys, please let us know your feedback. Let us know. I, oh, I, I, I have my money on bulk messaging. What was that? I mean, I, I bet on uh, okay. bulk messaging. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think people will choose pick this one. All right, we will see that. We will okay, see we will that. see of that. Course. Okay. Probably we can set a lottery game on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Okay, so let's go on. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's, let's just keep, keep, going. keep going. Thank okay. you for your feedback, guys. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. So another important update for the contact center, as we mentioned, yeah. uh, we also have some optimizations for the voice channel. 
uh, which is going to be your call center. Yeah. Make phone calls, right? Yeah. So on the P service system, we already got the call center solution. Yeah. Now we have call queues, mm -hmm. all this. It seems it's a perfect solution. But mm -hmm. one thing is missing right now. Well, one very important thing because mm -hmm. now, uh, well, we've said it a couple of times in our previous yeah. uh, live stream. Sure. But still, uh, now we have call center solution, right? And the automatic distribution, no, no, call bit distribution mechanism is workload based. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It means it will your call waiting in the queue will be sent directly to the next free agent. Sure. Right. Sure. Um, we are not saying it's not okay, but mm -hmm. it's not good enough. We should offer yeah, more. For yeah, for most of our cases, it's enough. But for some circumstances, it might not be that okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Perfect example. Mm -hmm. I guess, why don't we just talk about this first? Yeah. I'm going to give you guys an example. Yeah. Uh, you guys know that Ramon is a bilingual speaker. Trilingual, if you can't ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Chinese. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah. So he can speak multiple languages. Yeah. So let's see, we have a call center. I even put the phone here. So yeah, that means yeah. we have a call center. We have two we have, call centers. We have, we, we have a call center yeah. with two queues. Exactly. You see the line in between? Yeah, that's right. This is my queue. Sure. This is, well, my other queue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's see, we have two service centers, one for English service. The other one for Spanish service. Yeah. So you're going to be able to work in two different service centers simultaneously. Yeah. Okay. So what if, here's the deal. What if customers, they're calling us yeah. for two different services? From, yeah, for different services. Yeah, from okay. two different call queues. Okay. So, so originally, how do we decide which queue do I answer first? It's not up to us, I guess. It yeah. depends on you guys. If you're calling, it depends on who goes first. Yeah. The first one reaches to the queue will yeah, be yeah. answered first yeah. by our previous, uh, you know, by our previous mechanism. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is what was happening before, but this time we get this new feature for you guys, which is the priority queue. Mm. You know, it works perfectly for specifically this scenario. Yeah. So with priority queue, it basically means that we will set different priority for the queues, exactly. right? So the, queue, the calls waiting in high priority queue mm -hmm. will get answer first. Exactly. This is how, basically how it works. Very sure. easy to understand, right? But there are, but we want to give you a real example, mm -hmm. right? So let's get into the live demo. Yeah, guys, check out my screen right now. Yeah. So switch it back on my live demo here. You can see currently we have two queues, yeah. right? Uh, like I said. Let's add a new queue. Yeah, yeah, let's just add a new one. I'm gonna add a new one to show you guys this new feature. Yeah. So when you try to create a new queue here, you click on preferences mm -hmm. and just move on. Switch it here. You can see we have this new feature. Priority, priority queue. queue. In exactly. When you turn it on, you have two parts. Part one is going to be Q weight. Mm -hmm. Q weight is basically the initial <clears throat> priority. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. If uh, you're getting into a queue with higher priority, sure. your call will get answered first. Yeah. This is how it works. This way it can be anything. You can make it as one or make it as 10. It's yeah. up to you. Yeah, so the system will make comparison between all the queues sure. and pick the one with highest Priority. Exactly. This is how it works. Sure. Okay. And the second part is going to be the acceleration. We can no, turn it on. Let's leave it for later. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. but I, I think you can explain this first, but yeah. we're going to enable it later. Yeah. 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 Okay. So basically, uh, if we work with this mechanism, it means that the calls waiting in the higher priority queue will sure. always get answered first. Yeah. And the calls waiting in the lower priority queue will be waiting for too long. Yeah. We don't want that. Sure. So we add another important factor, which is, we can call it a dynamic priority. Yeah, that's a good which word, will dynamic. Add up, yeah, which will add up the longer you, you wait. Sure, right? sure, sure. Uh, this is the concept. So initial yeah. wait, we got initial priority and dynamic priority. Exactly. Right? But let's show, show, yeah. show the guys. So okay? now I'm going to make an example, guys. Yeah, let's get uh, back to the... Uh, I got the two phones, as back you back can the, see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got the two phones, and uh -huh. right now I'm just going to make two different calls, one for the English service, another one for the Spanish yeah. service. So for this one, for English service, we have already set up the priority yeah. as 10. Yeah, I can even show you guys this. The queue priority for English service is 10, and the queue priority for the Spanish, one. Spanish service is going to be eight. eight. You can hold it for me. I will me. hold it. So sure. you guys, it's very easy math. By with these settings, the calls from 
English service. Yeah. We'll be It's supposed first. to go English, right? Yeah. So you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna make a call right now. Yeah, please do. Okay. It's raining now. It's raining now. And uh, just pick, pick it up. up. Yeah, pick it up. Okay. I just pick it up, and uh, you guys can hear it. So the call will be established. Ooh. The call will be established on this one. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Because according to our original settings, mm -hmm. uh, this Q, you guys can see the Q weight of the priority is 10. 10. Higher right? than higher 8. priority. So of yeah. course, when I pick it up, this call will be established between this extension and the people who's calling the English service right yeah. now. It doesn't matter who get in first. Sure. Okay. As long as we are both waiting. Yeah. And there are no free agents at this moment. Exactly. There we go. Sure. So I'm going to hand it up. Yeah, let's hand up from yeah, from your phones. Okay. Okay. So this once again as we mentioned, this way all the calls waiting in the, you know, English service, this one will yeah. be answered first. But there is a problem as we mentioned, mm -hmm. right? Uh well, well, okay, one thing, one thing very important. It works under the circumstances where we have shared agent yeah. for the both queue. Yeah. Right? Like this who is you are. You're the shared yeah. agent. I am the shared agent. <laughs> I'm in charge of the two queues. Yeah. So I will so the system will decide which one do I answer first based right. on the priority. Right. right. But if uh for the queues, uh for different queues they have or their own dedicated agent like this, yeah. then this number doesn't matter. It doesn't make sense, yeah. guys. If this is the only way we can manage it, so Ramon will be able to handle calls through English service all the time. No problem. No one will be able to handle you know, phone calls uh, yeah. from the yeah. Spanish yeah. service. So if the dedicated agent from this queue are free, yeah. then the call will be answered. Exactly. This pri Once again, this priority works uh, for when we have uh, shared agents. Sure. Yeah, okay. So once again, let's get back to the example, okay? Yeah. Um, in this case, the calls from English service will always get answered first, Yeah. right? Um, but we don't want to get our friend from Spanish speaking countries <laughs> waiting for too long. Sure, sure, sure. So let's get back to the live demo. Yeah, back to the live demo, guys. Check out my screen. Yeah, this is the Spanish one. Yeah, you can see this is my configuration of the Spanish service. Mm -hmm. Well, wait a second, I can't I can show you guys this. All right, first of all, click on basic. You can see this is my Spanish service. Mm -hmm. And when we click on preferences here, yeah. and we turn on the priority queue, Eight. Uh, the original Q weight, it's gonna be eight. Uh, like Ramon posted there. Yeah. All right, this is ten. That's uh, eight. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Eight. I'm gonna put that one aside. Mm -hmm. Okay. And simultaneously, I also turn this thing on, which is acceleration weight. The dynamic priority. Exactly. Yeah. The acceleration, I keep it thirty seconds. Yeah. So that means customers' waiting time will be thirty seconds. If this customer's call is waiting for over thirty seconds, we're just gonna add another additional point on this original one, which is eight. We're Based just gonna put eight. another one. So that means for every 30 seconds the caller wait, they will get one more additional priority. That's right. So if they have been waiting for two, one minute, mm -hmm. then it will be... We'll add two points. Two, uh, yeah, two plus eight. Yeah, two that plus eight. Ten, mm -hmm. right? So this is how it works. Of course, sure. this time is customizable. Yeah. Yeah, if you want, you can change it. Yeah, you can, of course, you can make it shorter. Maybe 30 seconds is too long. You yeah. can make it shorter and not a problem. 10 seconds. Yeah. 10 seconds. Or maybe I can change this. I'm just going to make it shorter. If you want. <laughs> or anyway, we can just keep it this way. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just make a call. Yeah. Same thing. All yeah, right, let's, let's make back. a call. Let's get back. Okay. okay. So now we're going to, Jason is going to make a call yeah. once it's again. It's calling out. It's calling now, but this time I won't answer the call. Yeah, we just need to wait for a while. Yeah, we will wait for a while. Uh, because at least the one and a half minutes, right? At least one right. and a half minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because now the original, uh, well, the initial pr priority here is eight yeah. and 10. Yeah. We need to add more minutes yeah. to the eight sure. uh, queue so that, well, it got higher priority. Yeah. So I guess the time we will have to wait is, you know, over one. One and a half minutes, a half that's minute. what we need. It just right. got disconnected. Disconnected? Yeah. All right, that's weird. Am I supposed to make another call? Yeah, yeah just make another call. That's and it. we can see, we can take some. All right, and also you guys can let us know if you have any questions. Let me yeah. just make another call. Yeah, make another call, let's wait for a while. 
and this time we will answer it again and you guys will see that the acceleration will take effect okay okay all right it's raining now it's raining out let's wait for a while uh how many t how many time do we have on the uh, on the timer now it's just 10 seconds it's all right 10 seconds. So <laughs> take gonna, it easy yeah take it so easy. we're gonna wait for a while yeah eight and ten uh i will once again uh live chat wing just win the race what do you mean the live chat uh will people, most ah, people yeah, yeah, yeah yeah live chat. live chat that's the most popular one yeah but right. chatbots also are very very sure highly demanded mm -hmm. it's got disconnected again disconnected no, 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 it's coming Ah, again. it's coming in. It's Just coming wait in. for a while because it's in the queue. We need it's to be in the patient. Queue. Yeah, we need to be patient, yes. Yeah. How many time do we got? 45 seconds. Wow, it's, it's long. A long time. One minute is long. Now I understand it, guys. If we're working in the service mm -hmm. center, it's truly a tough well, job. Well if, I, <laughs> well, if I'm out of service for one minute. Yeah, that would be crazy. As an agent. Yeah, that, that's a big problem. <laughs> I'm down, but let's. Yeah. Let's keep this experiment going, okay? Sure, okay. Uh, so, yeah, bulk messaging. People do want bulk messaging, yeah. I believe, yeah. And okay. Let's take a while. Yeah. Is he connecting? Nope. Well, let's do it. Okay. Again. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, no, no, no. Let's. Oh, all right. Let's wait for like. Yeah, I think I heard the prompt. The prompt is that it's waiting for another agent. Ah. Because of the. Uh, well, you guys know that we have the rule to ring all these yeah, agents. Ring all, all, yeah. all the agents. Other agents logged in. Sure, sure, sure. So I'm not the only lady. Yeah, agent. you're yeah. not the only one. Other agent log in. Yeah. So let's have a look. Let's change the parameter. Well, that's actually a perfect chance for us to explain. Yeah, how it now, works. now the call comes in. Pick it up. Uh, yeah. I'll pick it up. Yeah, it's connected. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah, okay. So this one is for English service. It's still on hold. Yeah. Yeah. And ah, that's noisy. And this one is the one for the Spanish service. Hola. It's connected. Hola, Hola DMA. DMA. Yeah, I guess you guys can even hear it, right? <laughs> yeah, this is how it works. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hand it up. Hand it up. Okay. Okay. Now we've been waiting for long enough. Sure. So now, well, how how much time have we been waiting? I think around two minutes. Around two minutes. Yeah. So now the priority got changed. Is this yeah. is what is happening. It's eight plus four. Yeah. Now it's 12. It's yeah. higher. Sure. The Spanish service got answered yeah. first. So this is how it works. Yeah. Okay. What we want to offer is a balanced strategy between priority and waiting time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. Exactly. But of course, you can explore by yourself what's the perfect you know, sweet spot sure, that you sure, want sure. to hit yeah. with this setting. Yeah. This is how it works. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you guys now perfect understand that perfectly. Yeah, we yeah. even set up the whole thing, you know, take a really long time to show you how does it look like. Well, originally that was, that was really well, crazy. That's an interesting story, yeah. okay? Originally, uh well Jason and the whole team want to set up a whole contact center here. So in yeah, our you, you guys saw you guys saw that video. Yeah. The previous <laughs> the one. Teaser. I got a whole bunch of films on my table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. But then I well I was because I was out of office for a couple <laughs> right, of days right. and I got back, I see the setup mm -hmm. and I said and I told them Yeah, that was sorry, too complicated. That's overwhelming for an old guy, so <laughs> please. So we just simplify simple. the whole thing. But anyway, you guys can see this is how we're gonna use the priority queue feature plus mm -hmm. the acceleration to show you how we handle two different phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. This is how it works. Yeah. Priority Q mm -hmm. is already here. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, I think there's another important update this yeah. time. Not yeah. just the Priority Q, this is just one of them. Another mm -hmm. important update we bring you guys this time is gonna be Q missed call. Q missed call. Yeah, that's this something really position. important. So, for example, if I'm the agent, mm -hmm. like, uh, like what was happening before, we yeah. have so many phone calls, probably we get confused, probably we have some missed calls. But maybe I just, maybe it's handed up, not from my side, mm -hmm. it's from the customer side. Yeah. So I just call him back. So I really need to mark this missed cost. 
for the others. Yeah. Otherwise, it will affect my SOA. That was crazy, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, so this is what the, this feature is exactly. all about. Mm -hmm. But let's get to the live demo. We will show you sure. on our interface. Sure thing, guys. Switch it back to my live demo, please. Have yeah. a look. So this is my web client. Now, this time when you click on call logs, if you're the agent, yeah. you will see here's the new category, which is Q call logs. Yeah. Uh, because originally we do have logs for the calls in the queue, but it's mixed. Yeah, it's mixed with the mm -hmm. personal log, right. and it's confusing. Yeah. Especially if you're working as an agent, well, yeah. you. you that, that's you, why yeah. I mentioned sometimes you, it may affect your SOA. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good thing. Yes, yeah, not good. So this time we have given you a separate log, especially sure. for the queue calls. Yeah. The calls you get from the queues. If you are an agent, you will get this one. Yeah. But if you're not. All you have is the personal personal call. Yeah. Okay. So uh, have a check, please. Now these are all my Q call locks. All right. So if the call has been see, established, yeah. that's okay. But if this is the missed call, we can see it here. If you are a real agent, you are dead. <laughs> okay. All right. Take it easy, guys. You're not dead. You, you're gonna be okay this time. All right. Okay. Let's see. This call has been handled. I mean, it has been handed up by yeah. the customer. But Best. you might probably call him back. You're going to call him back right now. So what you're going to do is you can mark it. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I mark it as dealing. Dealing. And I'm gonna click on call back. Yeah. Right. So this call it's under processing right now. Yeah. And so, for my colleagues, the rest of them, they will be able to see this call is currently under dealing. Yeah. So if my colleague is in charge of the same queue yeah. as I do, then we will share the same queue call logs. Exactly. And all the status will be synchronized. Exactly. So if I label it as dealing, mm -hmm. it will be synchronized to the interfaces of sure. all my colleagues, they will be able to see that, okay, this is a missed call, there is a missed call, and it's been dealing by someone, yep. okay, so that means I can just lay back and let sure. it go for a while, sure. right? And for others, they can also put their mouse on it, like this. Mm -hmm. If they put their mouse on it, here comes the details. Yeah. Like uh, operator is, is Jason New, the time of operation, you can see all the details will be here. Yeah, and I can move on to the next not dead. Yeah. Phone. If this phone call has right. been handled, I can switch it to doubt. Doubt. Okay. So yeah. and once again, this will be synchronized to all my mm -hmm. colleagues, and they will be, be able to see. And also my supervisor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it won't affect my SOA this yeah. time. And it will save your job. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this is another important update mm -hmm. on it, which is going to be Q call lock. Uh, yeah. You can actually mark it, right? Yeah. 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 And beside the Q call lock, we also have make a lot of enhancements on the core reportings. Sure, yeah. sure. Some other updates for the reports will not just be the Q call locks. Another yeah. thing we have is going to be some important updates for all your reports. All your reports. Well, yep, that's first right. of all, we have make enhancement on over 10 reports. Sure. And we have added two new reports. Yeah. Yeah. I think I will just give you guys an example. All right. Okay. So let's pick the Q performance as an example. Yeah. yeah. All right. This time you will have a better user experience with it if you want to check the details. Yeah. Uh, see, I have two service centers, English and Spanish. Yeah. So if you're going to check details, first of all, you can check it here. Mm -hmm. And if, if that's not enough, you can also click on this. All the detailed parameters you want to get from the system, yeah. they're all going to be posted here all going to be posted sure. in here. Well, this is just one example, guys. Mm -hmm. As Romo mentioned, we have some other updates for some other reports. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, there will be a training session on February. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to talk about, guys. On February, we will have a specific training session to talk about exactly what's the difference between the previous firmware mm -hmm. with this new firmware yeah. on the call reports. Yeah. It's a specialized. Yeah about, you know, especially about the reports. Mm -hmm. We will explain, well, Jason will explain yeah. with details sure. what enhancements have we done yeah. and how it will help you, how it will help your customers. And of course, Jason will explain, uh, especially the two new reports, the sure. IVR reports mm -hmm. and the Q performance. Q performance, reports. Yeah. right. Reports, so yeah. yeah. So if you're interested, if you're technical, if, well, 
any anyway, just you know, click the link and yeah, we just posted the link in the chat panel. Please have a look there and yeah. uh, click on the link. Register for the training session yeah. next month. Yeah. Well, it will be on February February twentieth. February twentieth. I will 20th. meet you guys yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> if you are not free, then yeah. don't worry about it. Just subscribe for it. Sure. We will send you the recording uh, of yeah, the of course. Yeah, recording and document and presentation and everything. Of course. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just subscribe yeah. for it, okay? Sure. Okay. All right. So, oh, any questions? A lot of questions. Can you also give a, give priority to agents in the queue? Also, this will be the feature we have for the next next the firmware or next next one. I'm not hundred percent sure, but yeah, it, it, it the is following in, firmwares. Yeah, it is truly <laughs> in the roadmap. Yeah. Um, we besides the uh, priority queue, mm -hmm. we will have skill based routing. Yeah, skill based routing. I think yeah. that one will be supported on the next firmware. Uh, the skill based, yeah, skill based okay. routing. Okay, Jason yeah. said it. Yeah, I heard. Jason I just heard promised. about it. Jason's promise. <laughs> um, no, I didn't say promise. <laughs> I just okay. made. I heard okay. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, in the with the skill based routing, it means we will give uh, will priority to different agents. To different agents, based on exactly. Their, you know, knowledge, background, sure. skills, and everything. Yeah, it's a way more flexible way to. You mm -hmm. know, it, it will just make your call center be more with the more scientific way mm -hmm. to manage your customer calls. So first of all, this time we have priority queues. We can give people who's calling us a better user experience, mm -hmm. make things be more dynamic. Mm -hmm. And the second one, uh, which is going to be the following feature, which is the skill based routing, mm -hmm. that one can help us to make our agents mean, you know, with different skills. Mm -hmm. uh, with different, you know, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. what was that? Techniques. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, another question: If the agent belongs to more than one queue, is it possible to distribute calls fairly among all agents in all queues? Of course. Sure thing. Of course. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, if that, well, uh, first of all, how you do? I don't know how you define fairly, but <laughs> the thing is, if you want to evenly distribute the calls yeah. among agents. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. You I think I think that, that right might be a little strategy. bit challenge for you because you're going to do the calculation. You need to figure out the best way to but, handle the balance. Well, the thing right? is, if you are if if by fair you mean that you want uh, all the agents to answer the same amount the uh, same amount of calls, mm -hmm. it is possible because we have ring strategy. Ring strategy. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 uh, for the queues that can sure. help you do that. Uh, if this this is your goal, you don't need to enable the queue priority yeah. feature. Yeah. Maybe and and just use yeah. the old ring strategy. Sure. And well, that will be enough. If for you, you have different levels of the queues priority, mm -hmm. I mean for different service centers, just like what we displayed before, you guys just need to enable the acceleration. Mm -hmm. So that's why I mentioned the calculation. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Right, like for the acceleration time, mm -hmm. it might be 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Something like it's that. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so let's move on. Sure, let's keep going. So mm -hmm. that was basically all for the important updates on the uh, contact center part. For the contact center yeah. part, yes. But we also have other features. Yeah, right? this time we also bring you guys some other features on the PCR system. Uh, the next one, I guess, is quite important. I don't want to call it a side feature. It's not a side feature. Yeah, it's Sometimes really important. It's a lifesaver. Exactly. Which is going to be voicemail announcement. Yeah. Uh, for this feature, first of all, guys, you want to use this feature. This feature is available on your group voicemail, yeah. not for personal voicemail. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess sometimes people may use it a lot, like uh, maybe a lawyer from the attorney office, PR or maybe, office, or maybe a doctor. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So basically, if your organization deal with emergencies, right. urgent issues a lot, sure. you might need, your customer might need this function. Yeah. Because with voicemail announcement, let's imagine this, okay? You are a, ho you are a doctor working yeah. in a hospital or working sure. in your own personal clinic. Sure. Your, well, your patient have a problem mm -hmm. during the middle of the night. Yeah, something really urgent. They call the clinic, uh, but, but of course, nobody was there, yeah. right? Then what will you do? They will just leave a message. Well, if the yeah, voicemail, if right? they leave a message. Sure. So if you activate this function, it means if they leave a message out of the office hour, mm -hmm. then the system, the PBX, will place a call directly exactly. to the mobile to tell you there is a voicemail. Yeah. And so it will you play can, you the voicemail. 
Yeah, it sounds crazy, guys, in the middle of night. <laughs> yeah. You might probably get a phone ring on your mobile. Yeah. And you can pick it up and yeah. you can handle the voicemail directly. Yeah. Well, um, once again, this is a very aggressive strategy. <laughs> but if you are you know, really working for a clinic, yeah. As yeah. we said, attorney, it truly matters yeah, for attorney you. Attorney office, right. PR office mm -hmm. that deal with urgent issue a lot. Yeah. Well, you might need this. Yeah. Right? You, you don't want to miss any important call from your customers. Yeah. So it yeah. truly matters. Yeah. So, and uh, by the way, about this voicemail feature, I'm sorry, voicemail announcement feature, you can put up, I guess, five contact five numbers contacts on number. it. All right. So yeah. you won't miss it. Even you miss it, your colleague's going to handle it. Yeah. yeah. It will wake somebody up in the middle of the night. <laughs> sure, yeah. sure. All right. So this is the first one. Yeah. And, once, again, uh, once again, it works for uh, group voicemail. Yeah. Not for individual voicemail. Sure. So that means the mailbox for your department. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. So this is the first one. And also we bring some old school features back this time. Oh, yeah. uh, which is Busy Campon. The Busy, Busy Campon Camp is also available on the PCR system this yeah. time. If you prefer the old school style, you wanna you don't want to miss any important call from your Internal colleagues. Call. Yeah. All right. So you can also trigger the Busy Campon uh, by these buttons, which is feature code, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, well, we understand that there are many, many users who are used to the old traditional PBXs, and yeah. they they ha they have built up their habits. Yeah, uh, we, along with those old traditional PBX, it's okay. Sure, we will play along. Okay, you shouldn't, as our partners, shouldn't miss our, our opportunity because we don't have this kind of feature. So yeah, we have. Okay, you got it. Busy campaign. Sure. So this is the second one. It's back on P-Series. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and also another important update, uh, I guess, especially for your P-Series appliance edition mm -hmm. and software edition, is going to be the call recording to FTP. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, guys. You don't worry. You don't need to worry about the storage and exit time for yeah. your recordings, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's automatic download yeah. through FTP. That sure. means all the recordings you have will be downloaded to, through FTP to a local server, a local computer, right. directly, uh, and stored there. Yeah. And you you can keep like uh, up to thirty-one days of recordings to your FTP. Thirty-one days. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be a month. I think that's enough. Yeah. 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 So it's, we support FTP and FTPES. Right. Two protocols, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, it is available on appliance edition and soft edition. Exactly. Yeah. So now if you want to, you can set up, you know, this, you, you can call it a backup or automatic download sure. with FTP very exactly. easily. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess yeah. this is all. That was all the important updates on this new firmware. And uh, guys, if you have any questions, let us know through the chat panel. Ramos watching the chats. Right. Uh, okay, Horace and Gavin has taken uh, most of the questions. Cool, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, well, first of all, we surely appreciate, appreciate your support. Uh, we have a lot of people here. Yeah. Yeah, over 200 people are watching our live stream. Thank you so much. And uh, can we give priority? Yeah, this is already taken. Uh, so most taken. of our questions are handled, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. By Gavin and Horace. If most of our questions are handled, mm. then I'm gonna, I guess we shall post our <laughs> commercial right now. <laughs> commercial time, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I was just kidding, guys. Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be this. All right, check on this. This is gonna be our brand new yeah, podcast. Now, yeah, now we, have a, now we have a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the reason why we have podcast is um, we want to have a real communication with you guys. Yeah, we want to get closer with you guys. Yeah, because, well, there are so many things, so many interesting that we want to share about this business, about Yestar's business. Sure. But they are not entirely, well, right to do it through webinars or live streams. Yeah, I mean, currently, most of our platforms, they are so official. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like a training session or official live stream. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. not the real communication. We would yeah. like to have more communications with you guys. Yeah, yeah. So, so I believe the podcast is a very good way to do yeah. that. Uh, for example, well, it's already out there. Yeah, we already have the fir first two episodes, sure. right? Like in our last episodes, we talk about we we, we talk about uh, if the box moving business for PBXs is a dead business mm -hmm. or is there anything we can do about it sure right yeah, this yeah. kind of thing that's quite interesting yeah mm -hmm. our point of view well, Bill, well the thing is we cannot talk about it <laughs> in a live stream or in a <laughs> of webinar of course of course of All course right. so we have 
uh, a podcast. And the beautiful yeah. thing here is you can multitask. Yeah. Right. If you're driving, listen to us. Yeah, that's the right moment yeah. for you to listen to the podcast. If you're working, mm -hmm. not office, a problem. <laughs> listen to us. <laughs> yeah. Right? And subscribe. Sure, sure. Yeah. All right, guys, by the way, we just post our podcast on multiple platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube is just one channel, and it's also available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, I think, what else? Google Podcasts, mm -hmm. something else. Uh, make sure you subscribe our channel, please. Yeah, uh, here we have a question. Yeah. I have a question about the session time in WhatsApp. Can we respond to the client after 24 hours? No. Uh, well, the thing is, it's a limitation by WhatsApp business platform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they don't allow, well, the, WhatsApp will close the session automatically after 24 hours. Sure. Uh, it's, that, there's that's, nothing that's we not, can do about it. That's not our problem. <laughs> we, cannot, yeah. we cannot change that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, if we, well, if Yesa get, get get bigger, big enough and buy out WhatsApp, <laughs> maybe we can change that. Are but we now, gonna buy WhatsApp? <laughs> <laughs> A joke. You better watch it. Okay, careful. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing is, we cannot change that. Uh, it's a rule set by WhatsApp yeah, business yeah. platform. They will close the session. Well, maybe they want to limit your, you know, commercial sure. activity on it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's what they do. Yeah. It might also be something about the privacy, some regulations anyway. So it's mm -hmm. not allowed for them to open the channel permanently. Yeah. Uh, if you're using WhatsApp, I mean, just for WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but if you're using, okay, no problem, mm -hmm. no problem. Uh, yeah, well, well, once again, if you guys have any questions, just let us know, okay? Sure. In the chats, um, okay. And guys, subscribe for this podcast and subscribe for the webinar. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, two yeah. things really matters for all of you guys. One, and, and register. Also, and we have also booked some guest stars mm -hmm. already yeah. for our podcast. Yeah, sure. Who may help you mm -hmm. and have re really, really special relationship with. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get taught. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, well, we have guest stars from, uh, guest, guest, you know, cast. For the from, podcast, yeah. Yeah, yeah for other, for in, within this sure. industry. Keep it secret, please, yeah. all right. What really matters for now is going to be the subscription. <laughs> yeah, subscribe us, okay? Yeah. Subscribe us. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, we're on all kinds of platforms. Name it Spotify, yeah. Apple Podcasts, Apple Spotify, Podcast. Google Podcast, uh, multiple platforms. So yeah. make sure, uh, pick one of them and subscribe it. Subscribe. So you won't miss all these interesting things. Yeah, and of course, if you are interested, if you want to get into, get onto our podcast and chat with us. Yeah, 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 tell us, tell us. Tell us. <laughs> you are very welcome to yeah. join us on this yeah. podcast. Yeah. I mean, seriously, guys. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess that'll be it. Sure. If we don't receive any other questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, once again, yeah. thank you guys thank so you guys. much. For, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for uh, see us in the live chat, uh, in this live stream. And uh, yeah, we will bring you more content in the future through webinars, through podcasts, of course, mm -hmm. through live stream. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be it for today, I guess. Okay. You guys have a good one. Have a good one and have a good year. Yeah. <laughs>